Hi again, everybody. My name is Greg Anderson, and this is the Good Timekeeping Show with Greg Anderson. Now, in a recent video, I showed how you could replace a standard uh, light switch with a timer switch. And that's especially useful for things like a bathroom fan. If you want, uh, rather than using this regular kind of light switch to turn it on and off, you could use a timer switch so you could set it to whatever you want, say 20 minutes, and then just let that count down, walk away, and let that thing turn itself off. You can do that. What if you want to go one step further and have uh, switches on your wall that are connected to your smartphone or tablet and then you can actually control them from, you know, remotely from anywhere in the house or even on the internet. So you could be at the office, right? And you could turn things on or off at your house anywhere you have an internet connection to your phone. How would you like something like this? So I found this one, the Casa um, brand. There are others. This one happened to be a pretty good deal. I saw it at Best Buy. It was on Amazon and B&H Photo. A bunch of places had switches like this. So what this does, you put it side by side, it replaces your standard switch with something that's uh, electronically controlled and then it connects to the Wi-Fi router in your house and then that connects to uh, you know the home base at the Casa <laughs> company and then you can use that to control your devices from wherever you happen to be. So with this one, you do need a neutral wire. So some of these you're gonna find, uh, if you look on the package, different brands, different models, they will say requires neutral or does not require neutral. And I talked a little bit about it in my uh, previous video. Uh, what's inside the box where your switch is attached to the wall may have easy access to these other wires or it may only have easy access to just the black wires. So if you have easy access to these other wires, and with most homes you will, then you can install one of these. It might be a little bit of a tight squeeze getting everything pushed back into that box with all these wires and things, but usually it's not too hard. And if you can connect all these wires to the right things, put it all back together, you'll have an interesting little smart switch that you can remotely control. So what you have here, the white wire goes to what they call the neutral wire in your, in your house. And uh, almost always, <laughs> the people who built your house or did the electrical work will have the white wire be the neutral wire everywhere you go. So if you see a white wire in there, that's the one to pick. Unless, uh, you know, <laughs> when the home was under construction, the painters painted everything. You might have to kind of scrape some paint away to know exactly which wire is white. Or, of course, you can go off what was previously installed and then you'll figure out what is what. The green wire is the ground wire and that usually corresponds to a copper wire that is not insulated at all. So that's a pretty easy thing to hook up. And then these two wires, just uh, you connect these to what used to be the, uh, the two black wires that were connected to a standard switch. Now I'm looking here at a switch that is made to, to operate a light where, where you only have one switch to operate a light fixture or maybe some some light fixtures that are tied together but they're all tied together to one switch i'll talk about that now you would need a different switch for what they call a three-way switch a three-way switch is when you have two different light switches that affect the same light so maybe there's one on the far end of the room over there and one on the far end of the room over there and whether you hit that switch or that switch the light will turn on and off from either place. That's a three-way switch, and they do make these for three-way switches. There's an extra wire involved, and you gotta know what you're doing to get that installed correctly. But once you've got that done, everything else works about the same when uh, you, know, you turn the lights on and off with this. Another thing I like about this, uh, you know, it's controlled through an app that you have on your phone or your tablet, and uh, the app, allows you to not only turn the light on and off, but if you have the kind of switch that has a dimmer control on it, you can actually affect that as well. I do not have that. And, and then you can also set schedules for lights to turn on and off at the pre-designated times at days of the week. You can set it up where uh, you say, well, I want the light to turn itself off in 59 minutes and, and set some sort of a countdown timer 
a one-time thing. You can also create a kind of a, a group of switches where you just press one button or you know tap on your screen and it uh, will turn off all the switches that are part of that group. So if you say I have one group that's every exterior light on my house with one touch, you can turn them all off even though they all have their own individual switches or you can turn them all on. So this is some of the versatility you get when you use the app and I think that's a lot of fun and I like that. And uh, you know, it, it is fun to say, well, I'm on my way home from the office. It takes me half an hour to drive home. So what I'll do is I will set the uh, outside lights on my house to turn on in 25 minutes. So <laughs> right before I get home, all the lights turn themselves on and I could uh, set that up, uh, especially if I don't always come home at exactly the same time. You know, that's something I can set up. So let's talk about how to install this and, uh, you know, actually do the wiring. Now for this demonstration, I'm using our family playhouse that I built last year, a very simple <laughs> circuit breaker box in here. And I know that if I do this one, that takes care of my overhead lights. And that means the light switch is also not getting any electricity because I just switched off that circuit breaker. All right, now that that's turned off, I'm going to remove these screws and start to uh, get this undone here. I'm gonna take this switch out. Seems like I just barely installed this switch, but here we go. And inside the box, we have this switch, which <coughs> I attached a ground wire to the switch right there. And then I've got the two blacks uh, going in and I do have access to the white neutral wire right there. So from with this kind of thing, I can install any kind of switch I want. First, I need to take off this old switch. Now from here, there's a couple things I can do to safely test this out. If I put caps over these uh, wires right here so that I'm not uh, not taking as much of a risk of touching the uh, bare wires there. I can actually now turn the switch back on and do a quick test with this non-contact uh, line tester. What this does is it tells me which wire has electricity running through it. So I turn this on and uh, give it a shot. Right there, it's showing green, which means it's safe, which means there's no electricity running through that right now, but, oh, but this one, this one has electricity coming into it. And I learned that, uh, you know, without even having to touch something because I have this non-contact tester. Pretty good tool to have if you're going to do a lot of this kind of work. And as you can see, it's safe. I didn't shock myself. Okay, I'm going to install this uh, smart switch here. And uh, this was already attached by default in the box. So I just kind of pop that off. And now this is the top of the switch here. And it's always going to look like the switch is in the on position. Uh, you know, you, you tap this to turn it on and off right there. And there are a couple other small buttons there to uh, reset the thing. If you ever need to reset your internet settings or whatever. But uh, uh, basically it's still going to fit in there. You can use this uh, plate that came with it. Or if you're conscious of matching the other plates you might have, uh, you can also use this style plate. Uh, this kind of standard plate there. And that's a good fit there. So your choice on uh, using one of these or the one that came with it. So basically I just need to, to hook the, all of these up. So right here, the, uh, the green ground, I'm just going to use one of these wire nuts that came with it and uh, just twist that on, tighten that up there and make a good tight connection there. These two uh, white wires, I'm going to uh, attach this, this wire from switch. Do the same deal there, tighten that wire nut so that now all three of them are tight together there. And as for these other two wires, I've already determined that this is the one that's bringing the power into the switch. And this is the one that's taking that power out to the light fixture. It does not, uh, does not require you to use one or the other for these black ones. So you can just hook up whichever one you need to, <laughs> or you want to rather, to uh, to one of these black wires. And um, yeah, let me just uh, take a look at that. You know, it looks like I've left a little bit of uh, exposed wire there, a little bit more than I need to, 
because this was wrapped around a screw before. So I can actually clip off just a little bit of that so that it uh, it's safer. Why don't I do that? I'll just uh, use my wire cutters on that. Just, just a little bit. There. And then uh, when I put the nut on there, I can be a little bit more confident that there won't be any exposed wire there that I need to worry about. Same thing here. I'll just cut a little bit of this excess wire off. And I will take this and connect it like so. And now we're looking pretty good. Now I'm pretty confident this is going to work, so I'm going to go ahead and push all these wires back deep into the box now and start to uh, place this in its final position. You can see that's a lot of wires back there. So, you know, with some of these installations, it might be a tight fit to get everything back in there. But for this one, I think it's going to be ultimately okay. So there I turned on the circuit breaker and the lights came on. I turn, if I push the button, they're on and off just with the push of that button there. And this is where I need to get into the setup. And uh, right here it's indicating that it's trying to connect to my smart device. So as you can see here, there's a little uh, circle lit up there indicating that the power to the light is off. And up here, my little uh, Wi-Fi kind of indicator is blinking orange and green, meaning it's waiting for me to set this up to connect it to my home Wi-Fi and to my, my smartphone and all that stuff. But uh, even with it not connected to the home stuff, you can see lights on and that little, uh, little circle is gone. Uh, lights off and that circle is there just to show you, you know, that's where you touch it to operate the lights. Now I'll have my phone here, so I'll go ahead and uh, use the app. And you can see uh, it already shows I've got some devices connected. But if I say I want to uh, add a device, and uh, I'll just click on that and I say I want to add a smart switch. And I want just the regular smart switch, not the one with the dimmer, not three-way. So I, I do that. And it asks me, have you already installed the smart switch on the wall? I say, yes, I have done that. And then it asks me, is it uh, blinking orange and green? I say yes. And now it's, uh, it's prompting me to go into my settings. I'm going to look for the smart switch as one of the things that I can connect to the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to select that. And now what it's going to do is it's going to connect uh, my phone. I go back to the Casa app. And now it knows, okay, I've got this uh, switch I need to uh, need to configure. I'm going to hook it up to my home Wi-Fi. I'm going to input my password and it'll take a few minutes to establish a connection to my home Wi-Fi. And okay, it finished doing that. So I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it uh, my Playhouse Lights. And I'll give it a, uh, an icon. I can choose any of these icons I want. And now I'm all configured, ready to go. So now that shows up as one of my, one of my things. So if I now press the power button there, it just turned on the lights, turn them off. And now everything I can do with the other things that I've already set up, I can now do with this smart switch. So that's it. That's how you would install a smart switch and uh, get up and running there. As far as the app, uh, I, I think it's possible that you can control uh, the, the lights just locally on your home Wi-Fi network without it going out kind of over the internet. Uh, I haven't set it up that way. I set it up by creating an account with Casa. So I gave them an email address that I had and a new password that I wanted just for that Casa account. And so when I set that up on the app, that allowed me to install the app on other devices. So perhaps uh, on my phone and on an iPad, or uh, I could have it on my phone and my wife could have it on her phone, controlling the same things because we're both on the same Casa account. So that's the, the trick there. And with the Casa account, then I can be anywhere uh, that I have an internet connection 
and a smart device and I can control my lights from there. So uh, I'm not going to get too far into what the app can do. I think this video has been long enough already, but I'm going to make another video to get into a little more details on how to set up different timers and different scenes and different things that you can do to get the most out of that app. Also, um, if you want to, with this with this app, with these devices, you can uh, set it up to interact with your Google device or your Alexa so that you could potentially do something like you say, uh, Alexa, turn off all the lights. And then all the lights would turn off because you've got some sort of voice command set up. Now, I don't have that. I'm not going to show you how to do that, but uh, I'm sure that if you are already well versed in setting up Alexa to do those kinds of tasks for you, uh, you can easily figure out how to make it all interact with uh, one of these switches. And of course, this is not the only company that makes these. Uh, I just happened to pick this one because it was a good deal. I found uh, the regular light switch for about $15 right now, uh, kind of a sale price, but I think maybe the normal price is about 20. So somewhere 15 to $20 from, from several sources, I found the same price and that's why I went for it. So far, so good. We'll see how well it lasts. Uh, if you want to uh, experiment with some other brand or some other similar device, at least I've shown you how you might install that with some basic electrical work in your house. So please stay tuned. I think I'll do one of those three-way switches to control, you know, uh, the, the, the lights with, with two different switches. So I'll, I'll set up one of those and show you how I did that. And also I'll, I'll make a separate video to show you the, the app and some of what I can do with that. And also uh, what they have uh, is called a smart plug. So something you plug into the wall and then you plug other devices into that and the little device there. I'll show you all of that. <laughs> just, just stay tuned. Come back later for more episodes of The Good Timekeeping Show.